Today, we're gonna to cover LM Studio's newest update, Headless mode. The software itself, when you use it, is kind of resource intensive, but they just fixed that. I'm gonna show you what it is, how to use it, and run some tests. Okay, so what is headless mode? This basically just means that before, when we used LM Studio, before this version, you got to keep the application open. And the problem with this is that it does consume resources such as video memory and makes, well, for me, it makes my computer slower, especially when trying to record. Instead of having to do that, they created headless mode, which basically means once you turn on the local LLM service, LM Studio's process will run without the GUI upon machine startup meaning that you can just minimize this to the tray and we no longer have to have the GUI running in order to actually use LM Studio. Now to update this, you do have to actually download the version from lmstudio.ai. This is not an in-app update as I have tried. It didn't work for me, maybe it will for you, but it didn't for me, so I just re-downloaded the LM Studio. And now once you're running LM Studio, at the top left here, there is a tab called LM Runtimes. Click this. And then at the bottom left here, there's an app settings. So click that. Then you're going to scroll down until you see the LM local LM service for headless. This will not be checked by default. So go ahead and check this. And now in my tray on my Mac, I can click on the LM studio icon and choose minimize to tray. Now the GUI is no longer active and those resources are freed up. Now the documentation talks about on-demand model loading. Basically before this version, in LM Studio, you would have to load your model first before you know you could actually use it. However, with this version to use a model, you simply send an inferencing request to it. Basically, I want to show you a, the testing with our code. If you were to run that code and you don't have a model loaded, it's saying that it will take a few more seconds because it's going to load the model first and then uh, you go ahead and execute your request. However, that did not work for me. So we're, we are gonna have, I did have to load it first. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I created an eight day crew AI series, which I have a link in the description. And on day two, we talked about using local LLMs. So here I have an example of how you would use LM Studio. You create the LLM class, you give it the model. So, and I'm gonna show you how to download this in just a minute. You do not need the API key and the base URL. I'm gonna show you how you can do all of this. Now in my tray, I'm gonna click on LM Studio and I'm just gonna simply say start server on port one, two, three, four. And now once that is started, you can choose copy LLM server base URL. And once you do that, so you can just come in here under the base URL, once it's copied, just paste it in and you're good to go. Now you don't have to memorize this or anything. You can just copy it from the tray. The next thing is we need to load a model. So if you come down here to load model, let's say you have models here. Okay, you can choose whichever one that you want to load. But let's say you don't have any. There's a couple commands that you need to know. So if you were to type in LMS in your terminal, this is the CLI command, and it gives you everything that you kind of need to know. Now, if you want to download a model, but you're not even sure which models they have, because you know we're not using the GUI, you could choose to open up LM Studio in the tray. You can open up LM Studio, go and download a model. Or here on the command line, you can say LMS get. And because it we didn't actually give it a model name, it's gonna go ahead and give us the staff picks of their favorite models. And you can just choose one of these to download. So, you know, they have the Meta Llama 3.1, 8 billion parameter. They have Mastral, Deep Sea Coder, Coachrel, Fire 3.1. They have all of these, right? So you could go ahead and choose, choose one of these, press enter, and it'll download it for you. Then you can go back to your tray, then you can go ahead and load the model. So I'm gonna load this Llama 3.2, 1 billion parameter model. And then now it says one model loaded, and it shows you the loaded models. Or in the command line, you could say LMS PS and it says, these are my loaded models. And this is the identifier. So this is what I would copy to put right here into my model. Now you're thinking, why do I have the open AI slash? Because this is crew AI, it uses light LLM in the background. So I need to identify that this is an open AI model so you can use LM Studio. But this makes it easy to copy the identifier. Now to make sure this works, whenever you use LM Studio, you would see the log stream in the actual application, but we're not, we don't have the application open. So now how do we do that? Well, with a simple command, you can say LMS log stream. And now it's saying streaming logs from LM Studio. Now on the second terminal, I'm gonna go ahead and run this day two crew, which is basically a Chuck Norris joke generator. And we'll see how good the joke is. And as you can see on the right hand side, this is the first agent is gen gonna generate 10 Chuck Norris jokes. And it's telling you on the left hand side, this is what is happening in LM Studio. I'm just kind of giving you the prompt. 
and everything that's happening uh, behind the scenes that you wouldn't normally see. Okay, so it ended up finishing. It gave me 10 Chuck Norris jokes, which is what the agent is supposed to do. And then the second agent actually picks the best one, which is Chuck Norris has a PhD in physics, but only because he's so good at lifting heavy objects. Not really a good joke, and actually not all these are even Chuck Norris jokes. Uh, what do you call a fake noodle, a Chinese fork? What? But remember, it's a 1 billion parameter model. In a blog post they provided, they have some uh, different downloads for specific quantizations, which they show you examples of, and you know, hugging face URLs. They also have pictorial support with Apple MLX, which is also new. I think it came out um, actually in the last version, yet yeah, 0.3.4 or in 0.3.5 with the headless mode. But however, I cannot show you this because it's take for take it for a spin if you have a Mac with 16 gigabytes plus of RAM, preferably through 32 gigabytes. I have eight. I really think this is a great update for LM Studio and it's gonna really improve their standing within the local AI model sphere. I just finished an eight day crew AI series. You can watch that here with this playlist. I'm also creating a school community where I would love to share with you and be have a more personal approach on how to build these, create services, automate your lives, and really just have a vibe where everybody's trying to help each other get better. I'll see you next video.